Hello, welcome to this channel about cryptocurrency education. Today I want to have a quick look at if Cardano is primed to go parabolic again. Uh, I'd like to take a look at the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. If you don't know what it is, the RSI, you can see it down here. It looks at average price changes over a set period. And historically, values below 30, so it goes from 0 to 100. And values below 30 indicate an undervalued position of the price. And above 70 is normally overvalued or um, overbought. Uh, no, sorry, over yeah, overbought. And below 30, again, it's undervalued or oversold so looking at the chart down here of um, cardano we can see we're currently priced at 120 so an increase um from the uh, the lowest point in the last week i believe it was of around one dollar so the one dollar mark was tested but now we're looking at 120 again so it sort of kept its value above the 200 day moving average which is great still below the 50 day moving average which you can see here is that blue line so hopefully if we i mean if we get above the 50 day moving average that would be great i think that would indicate a more sustainable uptrend however if we look at the rsi we can always see that when a low of the rsi was hit um like here at the end of june after that we saw a really nice price increase yeah so there was a low here and that price increase for example took a couple of weeks um, or that upward trend and now we just saw another low and that low took place just four days ago and we're currently seeing another uptrend here so that could take another one or two weeks um, we also saw a low down here which was end of april and we saw actually a parabolic price increase after that that was actually its way to the all-time high now this time we're actually even more undersold we were nearly at a value of what was the value was it around um did it yeah it was around 30 so that was actually the lowest value since back here in september 2020 and you know that in september 2020 the ada price was just around six cents so after that obviously we it just, yeah it took a couple of months but we went to you know prices like um here 15 cents and from that on and there was by the way there was another low here on the 28th of january after which we could see that massive increase to the let's say the current value levels of around 115 120 so my just a little bit of food for thought here you know i nobody knows what's going to happen but it's just interesting that after each low of the rsi we can see this um normally a significant price increase i mean back back here you can't see it on this long chart but there was a big price increase after that as well it's been going up um regularly you know after a low of the rsi logically and just want to you know, give you a bit food of food for thought that after each low we could actually see a sustainable uptrend um i mean you need to look at these these lows which really um you know you, which come into your face i would say you know not these like not that significant lows but really lows like that one here on the 24th of april that was a big one because after that we could see the rise to the all-time high um also that one here on the 27th of january took it to a um, yeah really nice uh, price level actually to that current price level so always even here there was one on the 23rd of december after which as well we saw i mean looking at this massive chart here the long time chart it doesn't look like a big increase but we actually jumped from um around 16 cents to yeah 37 i mean that's that's uh 2x pretty much a little bit more and from then yeah we had that other than the new low here and then it also went up um, and that happened throughout the history of the ADA chart. So again, a new low here, actually the lowest low that we saw here on this chart since the 22nd of September. And as you all know, looking at that low here, that took us to completely new levels. That low, which is at the same level as the low just a few days ago, that took us to completely new price levels. So the, you know, just the, sort of the, the, the comment I want to make here, We've seen this new low here, which is at the same level as the low we saw in September 2020. And after which it, you know, it, it, it the price went, you know, what did it do? <laughs> it went like, you know, definitely more than 10x, 20x, 30x. So could that happen again? Could that happen again from this new low? We don't know yet, but I think currently we know the Bitcoin price is on its way up again after its low of 30,000 or just below 30,000 in the last few weeks 
So let's see what's gonna happen. Obviously, unfortunately, the price of ADA still very much is related to the Bitcoin price, but um, it is definitely interesting what's gonna happen over the next few weeks. Does that new low here mark a new beginning of a sustainable parabolic price increase? Now, I can't say if it's happening or not. Just wanna give you a bit food for thought. Um, just a different perspective here. I hope it will happen. Um, I think it actually could happen now. I've been saying it for a while now that I think in the second half of July, we could see the beginning of a new or of the next half of the bull cycle because I don't think we've seen the end yet um, of Bitcoin's bull cycle. So I think um, before we are getting into the new um, bear cycle, I think we're, we're going to see another um, increase this year. All right. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, subscribe to the channel. Bye.